So, we saw that uh, in plastic deformation x-ray diffraction indicated to us that the crystal structure does not change. And then the question of course, came that how can without any internal change in the crystal structure, without such internal change, external shape can change. And then this was solved by proposing a model of slip, where unit cells slip over one another to give you a macroscopic uh, shape change without any internal crystal structure change. So, we will look at a little bit more uh, details in the slip uh, in this video. So, one of the experimental observation regarding slip was that slip takes place only on certain crystallographic planes along certain crystallographic directions. So, when slip became important in the consciousness of uh, scientists working on plastic deformation, they started uh, doing careful experiments and these require a lot of careful experiment on single crystals and with x-ray diffraction, because you have to find the orientations of the crystal before deformation and after deformation. So, such careful experiments um, then established that slip is taking place in any given material, in any given crystal when you are deforming, slip takes place on certain crystallographic planes along certain crystallographic directions. By crystallographic, I mean that certain a particular a specific Miller indices of the plane, particular orientation of the plane will be suitable for slip, not all planes. And similarly, certain crystallographic directions will be suitable for slip and not any arbitrary direction. Then the next interesting thing was that these slip planes which they found, the crystallographic planes for slip, they were known as slip planes and uh, the crystallographic directions were the slip direction. We also have a term called slip system, which is a combination of slip plane and slip direction lying in that plane. So, with this uh, terminology slip plane, slip direction and slip system, let us look at the next uh, interesting result, uh, again an experimental result that slip planes are usually the close packed planes. So, we have seen various crystal structures and we have seen that particularly in cubic close pack and hexagonal close pack uh, crystals, there are certain planes which are very high density of packing and they are the close pack planes. And similarly, certain directions are close pack directions. For example, in cubic close pack structure, the face diagonals are the close pack directions. So, slip was happening when these experiments were performed, they found that the slip was happening on these close pack plane in these close pack directions, of course. So, this again threw a question that why close pack plane and close pack directions are being favored. We will look at it as we go along. But let us first note down what result they found for different crystal structures. So, for, for cubic close pack structure as you know CCP, um, the slip planes if you if you want the close pack planes, the close pack planes in the cubic close pack structure are of the 1 1 1 type. You will need to review some of your crystallography uh, videos which we have seen, we have discussed these things. So, close pack planes in CCP are of the 1 1 1 type and the slip direction if it is a close pack direction. So, that is of 1 1 0 type. Notice the use of brackets, I am using curly bracket because it is not 1 1 1 1 plane, there are 4 such planes in the crystal. And similarly, there are not just 1 1 1 o direction, this is a slip direction, this is a close pack direction in the cubic close pack structure and this is the face diagonal. And there are 6 different face diagonals in a CCP crystal. So, the number here is 6. The total number of slip systems and the way to write the slip system is to write the plane and direction next to each other. So, we will write 1 1 1 and 1 1 0. But recall that, so we have 6 directions and 4 planes. 
So, we may think that there will be 24 slip systems, but not really because out of these 6 directions all 6 does not lie on each of these 4 planes. In any given plane only 3 of the slip directions lie. So, for every plane we have 3 directions. So, for 4 plane we have 12 directions. So, 4 into 3 12 slip systems are there. Sometimes if you really want to be careful you can insist that the direction lies on the plane. So, you can satisfy the particular uh, choice which you have made uh, using wise zone law. So, I can write bar 1 1 0 instead of 1 1 1, but uh, recall that bar, bar 1 1 0 family is same as 1 1 0 family because it also belongs to the same family and any member of the family can represent the entire family. Only here writing as bar 1 1 0 then satisfies the wise zone law with 1 1 1 what I have written here. So, it shows that the slip direction should lie on the slip plane and that is why we have 4 into 3 12 slip systems and not 4 into 6 24 slip systems. In the hexagonal close pack system we have we have the O O 1 plane as the slip plane and 1 1 2 bar 0 direction as the slip direction. So, you have this as your slip system. Here if you think of 0 0 1 this is actually a basal plane, this is what is called the basal plane and there is only one set of such plane. And in a given plane in hexagonal crystal, there are only 3 such slip directions, 3 close pack directions. So, you have a rather limited number of slip system in hexagonal that is only 3 slip systems. It is an experimental observation that many hexagonal close pack materials are actually brittle whereas, many cubic close pack material are quite ductile. And one, one reason leading to this sort of uh, behavior is the number of slip system itself. You can see the paucity of slip system in hexagonal close pack system will lead to a lack of possibility of slipping and that is why lack of possibility of plastic deformation. And if plastic deformation cannot happen, the material cannot deform and it will behave like a brittle material. Whereas, cubic close packed has a number of slip system and behaves in a ductile manner. This is a very simplistic exam, simplistic explanation, uh, but this is one of the pointers towards this made difference in the behavior of CCP and HCP material. Finally, if you look at BCC, in the BCC, there is actually no close pack plane. So, the nearest close pack plane is 1 1 0. And, but they, there are well defined close pack directions that is the body diagonal. So, it is 1 1 1. So, if you look at the numbers again this 1 1 0 comes out to 6 and this 1 1 1 comes out to be 4. You can see that the situation is just reversed from that of CCP and then you have the slip system I can again make it consistent with the wise zone law. 
and you will again have 12 clip system. In fact, if um, I am um, I'm, I'm making a mistake here, uh, although you have a 12 slip system, uh, we have to look at it carefully. There are uh, 1106 such planes and in each plane there are only 2 directions. So, I should write it as 6 into 2, 12 slip systems. I leave this uh, as crystallographic exercise for you to work these out. I have only given you the outline this you can do easily. For example, what I said about the BCC can be seen in the BCC unit cell. So, if you take this as your x axis y and z then a 110 plane will be this green plane and 111 kind of direction the body diagonals are the two body diagonals which are lying in this plane like this. So, this green plane and these two directions give you the two out of these 12 slip system. I leave this as an exercise for you to find out other 10 slip systems and draw them for BCC as well as do that for HCP and CCP.